It's been a bit more than two months uh, since this guy has uh, <laughs> rocked uh, the Eurovision stage in Lisbon. Uh, welcome, Mikolas Josef. Thank you for having me. Yes, see radio or whatever. Yeah, it's been like, it's been two months now. Yes. It's been two months now. It feels like five months to me. It feels like maybe, you know, really? much longer actually than two months because so much has happened ever since. So, yeah. yeah. Well, before we talk about that, let's get back to um, Eurovision for sure. a moment. Those were probably the craziest two weeks in your life so far, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. In many <laughs> ways, actually. <laughs> in many ways, yeah. In many ways. Like, I think like the most difficult thing was like overcoming what has happened at the beginning and sort of like building from the situation we were in, you know, with the back injury. And then... Uh, of course, man, everything was really new to me. So even like playing at the arena, um, all of the, all of the interviews, everything, there was such awesome, like around, it was crazy, really crazy. But all I remember is like the good stuff about it. And there was nothing bad, you know, I mean, even the back injury was still something that mm. I think made me think about stuff a little bit differently. So it pushed me further as well. Uh, and Yeah, man. Well, only with love, man. Remembering only with love. At that time, there was a lot of discussion about this injury. Yeah. Actually, I would like to ask you, how is it now? Have you fully recovered? Yeah, yeah. I'm already, I would say, back to 100%. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so that's perfect. I, I went back home and the head of the neo neurosurgical department in Prague, when we were calling, I was like, look, I'm going to do the flip. Uh, and he was like, well... I'm I'm putting my hands away from this like you're crazy, <laughs> and then we met in Prague, and and he was like you know it could have gone a little bit you know worse than you thought, sure. and then I had some, I had some sessions with him. I had sessions with another, another doctor, um, who was actually taking care of the hockey team and the football team. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I really wanted to meet this guy, you know, for a long time. Finally got to do it after Eurovision, but now it's fully to 100 percent. So yeah. so what do you miss the most from those two weeks? <laughs> You know, honestly, like, I miss the overall vibe. It's like, I was telling to some people that it feels like a summer camp, you know, like you make friends and then at the end of it, it's like, we're not going to see each other maybe, you know, again. So um, it's it's special because you only have those 14 days and then it's over, you know. And then the next year is completely, over, you know, different. Um, you're not connected to it um, maybe in any way. Uh, but we'll talk about that maybe because maybe I will, but but we'll see. Um, I made a lot of friends um, with many of the artists I'm still in touch today mm -hmm. and um, with some of them I might be working together so no nah, man it's like it created bonds that last so so that's really cool about it yeah yeah so many things have happened since then among them um, these two <laughs> beautiful <Yay>! awards uh, <laughs> I know I got, I got something from Eurovision <laughs> at last man so thank you so much um, first of all it's really beautiful check this out it's even like lighted you know <laughs> so best my art is best song of the year man I mean yes, um, I should, um, really makes me happy because I, I had so much work with the song um and uh you know of course we all wish to bring some trophies home from eurovision that didn't happen so at least now i get that this, so. to, i like to mention that this voting always happens after eurovision every yeah. year and um it's a little different because of course we don't have the televoters here but uh it's well, even more international because uh, the radio listeners we have people from canada uh -huh. us south america cool. or asia even asia uh -huh. They voted, and so, yeah, this is what came out. Perfect. <laughs> so I know that Eleni won the best female artist of the year, and Madame Messier won the best group, is that right? Yes. Am I the first one taking these babies home? Yes. Yeah? Come <laughs> on, guys, you have to come well, here. No, actually, uh, Madame Messier, they won't be in Germany anytime soon. Ah, okay. Uh, and uh, we send them the awards. Ah, okay. So they received them meanwhile. Okay, okay, So okay. we will still have to meet Eleni for the best female. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I have to give her a call and tell her to come, because, like, <laughs> it really feels special thank you so much guys really uh, thanks to everybody who voted but um, really feeling yeah this is what I wanted to, <laughs> to bring home from Eurovision I got this I think this one is actually like man it's heavy it's heavy <laughs> it's really heavy it is it is yeah I, I know I know them <laughs> yeah I know how heavy they are <laughs> thank you guys Yeah, really. I'm gonna put it on my shelf and so but that, that's really not all that happened since Eurovision. Tell us a bit more. You I think you traveled to Greece, you were in London recently. <clears throat> oh, so yes. Tell us a bit. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Um yeah, I did the VMAs in Greece. Um I met Eleni there again. Uh 
Um, also met Marcus and Martinez for the first time uh, in one rehearsal dressing room. Um, yes, I went to London to negotiate a publishing deal. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then a lot of live playing. Um, I'll be going to Estonia now, then uh, Vienna for recording a new song. On Friday, I'm releasing the Spanish version of Lie to Me. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And then... Yeah, I'm doing some songwriting also in Canada and some festivals, live gigs. Um, probably uh, the next release will happen at like somewhere around September. So, so we've got that to do as well. So, man, clock is ticking. <laughs> tell, yeah. tell us about the Spanish version. It's quite interesting because um, well, it's common in your vision that uh, the artists record uh, versions in other languages. Mostly, they bring them already to your vision. Oh, Sometimes yeah. even the five or six, seven languages. Really? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Because uh, so I know that Sarah Alto did something like in every language. Or, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's But also official the whole song because I think she did just like a medley or something. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that was a medley. Yeah, But sometimes they really record the whole song in, in various languages, in French or whatever, Russian even sometimes. <laughs> so, so yeah, how did this happen with the with the Spanish? Why, why Spanish? You know, I I released the track and even without it being in, at ESC, even like before I got to the whole ESC thing, it just, I released the track and it got a huge following from Spain. I don't know why, nobody knows why. We didn't do any promotion there. Um, nothing was targeted. It's just like Spanish people somehow reacted to it. And now, whenever you look at the statistics, it's like Spain, 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 Spain. Always like among the top like two always. So I was thinking, come on, like I should probably, you know, give back something to them or like respond to this in some way. So that's how Lie to Me in Spanish happened, which was a funny process because I wrote it with um, I wrote it myself using actually a friend of mine who can speak Spanish, and <laughs> we wrote it on Google Translator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> so bad. And of course, then it was like checked by native speakers. I have some friends over in Mexico okay. and Spain as well, <laughs> and it was sent back to me <laughs> like, guys, like um, you you will have to change a few things here, you know. So so I did some re-recording, but hopefully now. Oh, it's okay so <laughs> we'll see man interesting. the title will be the same still or the title will be the same mm -hmm. i didn't even want to change the hook so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. because i think that would take the spirit away from the song uh what i did is that like i changed the verses mm -hmm. and it's not like i would translate it you know word to word i try to create like a sequel or like a continuing continuation of the track so um there is some new information <laughs> So does that involve any special promo now for Spain? Is that something um, planned for Spain? I hope I will get to Spain after Estonia. So Because we have Spanish listeners, I, I assume that some of them, they will, would love to see you in yeah, Spain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Actually, when I'm talking like after Estonia, that means next week. <laughs> so, so we'll still see how that goes. Um, and I have yet that to announce, but I um, would love to go at least to Madrid and to Barcelona and... Uh, you know, played there for the first time live, of course, where else than in Spain. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. So we should talk about the, the album a bit. I think you oh, were yeah. in Greece, not only for these awards, uh -huh. uh, this awards show, mm -hmm. uh, you also recorded in Greece? Yes. For I the was, album? Something? I was recording in Greece. It was actually for the Spanish version and then for ah. another track, mm -hmm. um, because the next single is coming out quite soon. Um, that I'm most excited about because, you know, I wrote Lie to Me back in 2016. Now it's 2018. And for two years, like nothing, nobody has heard nothing from me. So there's been a lot of, I think, development and nothing was heard yet, you know? So I'm really looking forward to releasing that one. And then the album should come. We were talking to my recording company, Sony, and we're thinking like within a year it should be out. So, okay. so that's coming quite soon as well. I mean... Um, Uh, there is a lot of studio work to be done now. And I'm sure you've been discussing a kind of a concept for this album. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what can we expect? Um, especially, I would like yeah. to speak about this song because you had some singles out in, in, in the Czech yeah. Republic before yeah. this Lie to Me. Yeah. And, and this was the first time, I think, uh, that you used the trumpet as a very prominent feature in oh, the yeah. song Lie to Me. Oh, yeah. So um, oh, yeah. this means now the international crowd, they connect uh, you maybe with this trumpet feature. So I yeah. wonder if you... Have have that in mind for the album um actually it's like every track is really different and i'm i'm that type of guy who like i can take a, a guitar and play an acoustic track and i can also dance the light of me you know so there's this variation and uh, i hope that people will understand that i'm not like a one track mind artist just doing 
you know, every song with the trumpet, da 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 da, one after another. But um, for the next one, for example, I'm using a different instrument than a trumpet uh, but there's also a lead instrument of course but it's a little bit different um, but there are some characteristics from light to me um, still I took that because I find it it's kind of reflecting on my sound in some way uh, it's not necessarily the trumpet it's something else I think so um, you will get to hear that and about the album um, I really don't know um, because you know to me it feels like music industry is changing like every week somebody puts something out and suddenly the whole game is changed you know because of that one song because of like how people sing or or the sound that they're not using so um even if i had the album finished right now and if i was to release it in january i know that the album would change like 10 times Mm. you know uh (laughs) so so it's hard to talk about that but what is important that it's going to be me always um even now when I'm writing with other people, I'm still involved all the time. So it's still my vision and still my sound. It's not it's not other people writing for me and just me like being the top liner, you know. I think that's really important. That would have been my next question because so far you, all your songs uh, were uh, yeah. self-penned uh, all exactly. by yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And now you will start working with... Something? Yeah. Um, I already started working. I had my first ever songwriting session I was in Vienna and the guys were amazing and uh, I was really nervous actually before getting there because I have my own way of writing songs and that's very very different I think to what people do because I really like to take my time really take my time and really focus on it and like if I have I will have another 30 versions of this sound and I'll be like every day picking the best ones and other people work I think much more faster much more um you know, okay, yeah, we got that. Okay, let's move on. But um, it's kind of hard to implement that into the songwriting process. But um, the things that I was afraid of were like completely gone after like 10 minutes of the session. Uh-huh. It's amazing like to play an instrumental and just like vibe with other two other guys just like coming up with random melodies. Uh, so yes, it's still me. I'm still always present and everything. So I'm still producing, I'm still writing. Uh, and it's actually fantastic when you have a professional next to yourself coming up with an idea that you're going like, wow. You know, so of course there are tracks on the radio that I wish I had written and I didn't. And you get to finally work with people like that and you're like amazed by what they can do. So um, I think it's even better than it was before, honestly. Like um, I didn't find it very easy writing everything on my own, producing everything on my own. It was really difficult. Um, so far, Miklos Jerusalem has not exactly been known for ballads. Um, uh, oh, yeah. How, how about ballads? You know, I have like three ballads already written, just like me and a guitar. And when I'm doing live gigs, I'm sometimes playing tracks that I did not officially release yet. Um, of course, like... I already have them registered everywhere and, and, and the process is done, but it's not, not out there yet. And when I'm playing them, like you would be surprised about the response. It's really big. And uh, of course, after Lie to Me, I was even thinking like, I'm going to shock everybody and I'm going to just go for it, just me and the guitar, you know, and people are going like, who is this guy? Like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. like he's not wearing glasses, no, no, no shirt on, no trumpet, man. But um, uh, I will definitely do that sooner or later. I just don't think now it's the right time to be doing this but yeah i'm a i started out as a ballad guy and i still see myself as a ballad guy honestly okay cool have you thought about a featuring uh, um, um, thing uh, that's oh, very yeah. common nowadays that uh, oh yeah how about Mikolas Jose featuring mr or miss who <laughs> um <laughs> or the other of way course ones. we were thinking about it and uh um let's see how the next single goes um because there might be someone um We'll see if it's somebody from Eurovision. We're also talking among those people. Okay. And so it's going to be, maybe it's going to be just me. We'll, you never know if uh, you send a track over and the people have to connect to it and it has to work, you know. So um, even though the person can be, I don't know, number one in the world, but if still the connection isn't there, it's not working. So so we'll see. But yeah, we're, we are talking. I can confirm that. Is there anyone that you... Well, apart from the Eurovision crowd, uh, is there any artist that you would... Uh, it's a dream maybe for you to work with uh, that artist? You mean um, from this year? No, in general. In from general. The music business, uh, from the music business in general. Well, I think like, first of all, it was crazy going to London for publishing meetings all the way like to Greece and talking to labels there. Like everybody watches Eurovision, everybody, most of the people go and see it. 
um, and they are very much aware of what's going on. Like that was, that was, that was really crazy. And then when it comes to you're probably asking about featuring, like who, which one of the people I would have on a track, and of course, um, it really depends on the track. I would say so. Uh, of course, I would love to. Um, I, I would love to have a song with Zibs, with Ari, uh, uh, with Eleni and with Benjamin and with many, many, many other people. But they have to fit to the song sure, and they have sure. to like love it from the moment sure. they hear it. Otherwise, it's not working. So, yeah, man, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So before we get to hear uh, a bit of singing and oh, yeah. playing, we'll get to play here too. Um, one last question. Would you do Eurovision again? Good question. We're already thinking <laughs> about it, and I'm receiving a lot of messages to go there. I can again. imagine a lot of messages, <laughs> really. Not bad, not bad. Um, and um, probably not this year, <clears throat> but of course I'm thinking about it. I'm really much. I'm very much thinking about it. Um, I'm even thinking about writing the song for the next year for Czech Republic, uh, and then, yeah, I would definitely like to know, you know, what it's like in a few years. Uh, But we'll see. Sure. We'll see. Step by step. Yeah, That's but I'm open to it. Yeah, would be cool. Cool, yeah. <laughs> so let's wait and see. Yeah, and now, yeah, let's hear uh, some yeah. singing. We already mentioned the Spanish uh, version. Yeah, um, you know, when I was at Eurovision, <laughs> it was really difficult for me to not do the dirty version. So every time it came to the part where I was like not supposed to swear, I really had to switch my brain on. Oh. And now I'm always thinking about the Spanish version. So maybe I'm gonna, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that I will do this one in Spanish, but like if I make a mistake and go into Spanish, just like forgive me, okay? <laughs> so yeah, let's hit it. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right. I'm ready. You? <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> Oh, she a good girl at home, but her skirt goes up like Marilyn Monroe's. Papa likes to draw my mama harder than lava. Rocking high heels, proud of her face like Madonna by the way she moved. Got me making a puddle. Baby, I already knew you would be nothing but a trouble. And everybody knows she never loved for real. Honey bunny up on my wannabe. I know you but ba 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 is with bamboo when you were still seeing me Oh well he didn't even know uh -huh. But god damn me come and count to three Ahora estoy en fuego guapa mira me you lie to me Lie to me oh baby come a little closer Lie to me Lie to me oh baby lean up on my shoulder Lie to me I get that on my body Love me like it was always meant to be And now you love somebody new I always knew So come and give it to me Now when the beat drop, drop, drop it like a toy And now without a second thought she got me doing what I'm not that nickel heavy Mom, I'm feeling home already but steady plenty Mother, wanna eat my spaghetti She got one of my friends, she got him dripping on wood I know it hurts so bad but it feels so good Quit sweet talking me, now I don't give a fuck You should have thought about me before you fucked him at the club I know you but ba 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 on his bamboo When you were still seeing me, oh well he didn't even know uh, But god damn he come and count to three Now sit down GGY, I'm on fire, come and lie to me Lie to me, oh baby, come a little closer Lie to me, lie to me, oh baby, lean up on my shoulder Lie to me, I get that on my body Love me like it was always meant to be And now you love somebody new, I always knew So come and give it to me You know I like it when you la la la, you look so good. And when you la la la, set my camel in the moon. When you la la la, when you la 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 to me, la to me, oh baby, come a little closer. La to me, la to me, oh baby, lean up on my shoulder. La to me, I get. That on my body, love me like it was always meant to be. And now you love somebody new, I always knew. So come and give it to me. Yeah, we did it. Hey. <laughs> That was the first time we're doing it together. I think you stayed, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Cool. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mikolas uh, Josef. Thank yeah. you so much for having us. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, congr congratulations again on these awards. Thank you. Um, yeah. I'm excited. No, thank you for having us. Um, it's it's good, you know, that 
people are still into it two months after it's gone and it's not like okay ciao it's done now so first of all the thanks story. to everybody who voted um this made me really really happy um I received the best male artist and the best track of this year. So, uh, guys, this, of course, <laughs> is going to go somewhere on my wall. Um, and uh, wishing all the best to WSC Radio. Um, keep listening, uh, keep voting, take part uh, and make people happy. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs>